So I'm back at one of my uh, favorite thrift stores in Philly. This is the Salvation Army on Rising Sun Avenue. So let's see what we find in here. Looks like they got a Manny Machado. I think this is the All-Star Game jersey. 2015. 20 bucks. Who's this? National League. Chris Bryant. 20 bucks. New with tags. Majestic cool base tag. These are pretty good. Checking out the shorts now. A pair of vineyard vines shorts. I don't think they have great resale value, even though they are expensive and new. Looks like these are new with tag Under Armour. 12 bucks. Size 42. I think I'm going to pick these up. Coleman LED Lantern. This isn't bad. Nine bucks. It's missing the bottom. Look at this is corning ware. I don't seem to ever do good with it. I picked it up a few times. Let me know in the comments if you pick up corning ware. So I just left the uh, Salvation Army here on Rising Sun Avenue. Um, I ended up picking up those two uh, baseball jerseys. One was uh, Manny Machado 2015 um, All-Star Game jersey. And the other one was a Chris Bryant All-Star Game jersey. Um, they both look pretty good. They both look authentic to me. They were a majestic, uh, cool base jersey, which are pretty expensive jerseys when they are new. I didn't see any listed as of now, and I couldn't find any sold comps. So I'll probably price them around $100. Um, I picked them up for $20 each. And I also picked up the uh, one pair of Under Armour golf shorts. They were new with tags, and I paid $12 for them. I know this was only a quick trip, so I'll, I'll end up combining this video with another uh, thrift store trip, maybe tomorrow or uh, Thursday. But uh, stay tuned and see where else we go. So like I said in the first clip, it's been a few days since the last time I went out thrifting. Um, I'm actually on vacation in North Carolina. I'm gonna head over here to the uh, Habitat for Humanity store. I'll bring you along with me. We'll head inside and see what we can find. wonder what year this is. Let me know down in the comments if you know what year this uh, tumbler's from. It's $4. It's missing the straw, but I think I'll pick it up. Some water filters here. I don't usually mess with the non-branded ones. But they're uh, $10 a piece. So I'm pretty sure I won't be messing with them again. Looking for any Cuisinart food processor. Look at all these golf clubs. Clubs are a dollar, bags are five. I just don't have no room with traveling. I'll check some of these out. Cleveland. Just looking for any putter. I don't see any putters.
I might look these up. So I am going to pick up these uh, Cleveland set of irons here. I'll be paying $8 for the entire set. I think I can probably get around $65, $70 for it. Came over to check out the games. It looks like it's just sports games. Pretty much all sports games. Oh, here's a PSP game. Ben 10 for three bucks. I'm actually gonna pick this game up because I have a PSP at home that I don't have a game to test it with. So I'll pick this up and probably sell it in with a lot for the PSP if it's in working condition. We're at the next stop. I want to thank Julian over at uh, Bearded Thrift Machine for giving me a heads up on this um, Goodwill store in Little River, South Carolina. So let's go in here and see what we can find. I don't see anything off the top of my head. I'm sure some of these clubs are worth some money, but I don't see anything right now. HP 12C calculator. I've sold uh, a few of these before. I think they're worth somewhere around 20 bucks. And it does work. Looks like they have two of them here. For $2.99. I'm going to pick them up. I'm over in the electronics section right now. Don't really see much. See these uh, Wii controllers? There's two of them in there with one of the nunchucks. Five bucks. Take a shot at them. Oh, here's something decent. These are just Black & Decker Space Saver um, under the cabinet cane openers. They actually mount like this, but it looks like when this was uninstalled, they just pulled the uh, pins out here without unscrewing them. I don't know if you can see in there. But it looks like everything's bent. And it doesn't come with the bolts to install it. It's a pretty gross shape too. But for four dollars, that's not bad. If it was in better condition I probably would have picked it up. I think these sell anywhere from between 45 40 45 dollars so so keep an eye out for these under the cabinet uh, can openers. They do sell pretty well. So that was a quick trip in there. I did end up picking up those uh, two calculators and the Wii remotes. Um, I spent $11 for everything. I'm back from vacation and uh, I'm just gonna add one more uh, thrift store trip into this video. So let's go in here and see what we find. Check out the shoes here. This is a good pair to look out for. New Balance 990, made in the USA. But they're not in real good shape. I think they're 650, not in good shape. They're peeling up the front here. It's not worth, I don't think, picking these up to uh, try to glue these back on there. But if you do see 990 uh, New Balance, they are uh, usually worth money they usually are worth picking up. A pair of kids Mickey rain boots. 250. I'm gonna pick these up. Checking out the hats now. It's a new one with tags. 
Philadelphia Union, which is our soccer team here. It's new with tags, 350. I'm gonna pick that one up. I don't see anything else here. Come over here and I always check out the uh, sports section. They always usually have baseball bats and tennis rackets. So, I actually sold these tennis rackets before. These Wilson Pro Staff. They're four bucks a piece. I'm gonna pick these two up. I'll pick the bag up too. few baseball bats under here. Minus 10. I actually sold this Louisville Slugger Warrior bat before. It's probably like a $30 bat, $40 bat for $5. I'm going to pick this one up also. There's two pair of hokas up there, 60 bucks a piece. When I first looked at this, I actually thought it was the, that crying Michael Jordan face, but it's clearly not. Over here in just the miscellaneous section dog toys uh, i sold these before these root feeder refills could probably get 25 bucks for them if they're all there i'm gonna pick these up Check the DVD section, CDs. See if they have any games over here. Let's see some games. A lot of PSP games for a dollar. NBA 2006, it's actually sealed for a dollar. Heavy Metal Dash 2. Rillville Worms. Ratatouille. We. Jeopardy. Flight Simulator. I'm actually going to pick up all these games, I think. Another game, GameCube Splinter Cell. Disc only, two bucks. Probably gonna pass on this one. I think it's only worth about six dollars. So that was just a quick trip into the New Life thrift store. Um, I ended up picking up those root feeders and um, the video games. I spent somewhere around $16 for everything. I'm gonna cut the video off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you guys stopping in and checking it out. Uh, I took you along on a few uh, different thrift stores. Uh, some while I was on vacation and some while I was back here in Philadelphia. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next time.